Hello, hello to all the precious people all over the world. Welcome back to our channel, Precious Cats of Mama Kids. Today's video, we're going to discuss about the everyday things that hurt our cat's feelings. Cats often seem to emanate an aura of self-sufficiency, an attitude that conceals a sensitive creature tuned into our actions and the environment. Ignoring them when you come home. Ignoring them when you come home. When you come home and don't take a moment to interact with your cat, even if it's just with a quick and gentle stroke, you're unintentionally sending a message of indifference. Cats, like dogs and children, form bonds with their human caregivers. A study from Oregon State University highlighted the importance of these bonds and how lack of interaction can create insecurity in felines. It's vital to understand that cats have a unique sensitivity. Ignoring them when they're naturally inclined to greet or interact, such as when you come home, can create a sense of abandonment. Disregarding their hunting instincts. Even the most sedentary cats possess a deeply rooted hunting instinct in their nature. This instinct is a legacy of their ancestors and is embedded in their DNA. By not recognizing or satisfying this natural impulse, you may inadvertently trigger a feline crisis. A common mistake cat guardians make is using a laser pointer to play without providing a reward at the end. During these laser pointer play sessions, cats frantically chase the red dot focusing all their energy on this activity. However, at the end of the interaction, when there's nothing physical to capture, it can be frustrating for them. Disregarding their preferred petting zones. Petting zones. Just as humans have individual preferences for where they like to be touched, cats also have specific zones they love or hate being touched. Some cats enjoy a good chin scratch, while others purr happily when stroked on their backs. However, there are areas like the belly or the base of the tail that many cats consider sensitive or even threatening when touched. These preferences are not fixed and can evolve over time. A cat that enjoyed belly rubs as a kitten may grow up and develop an aversion to this type of petting. Therefore, it's essential to carefully observe how your cat reacts to being petted in different areas. Not respecting their space. Cats are territorial creatures and have specific places in the home they consider their safe havens. These may include a cozy corner on top of the wardrobe or under the bed. These places are essential for the cat's emotional well-being, where they can relax, observe, or simply enjoy some alone time. When we invade these spaces, especially when cats retreat there, we're inadvertently sending a message that their boundaries are not respected. Repression or punishing? Cats are creatures that live in the present, and their understanding of actions and punishments differs from ours. When we punish them, they don't associate punishment with a specific action as we hope. Instead, they may become confused or scared because their source of security, the human they trust, is suddenly angry or making loud noises. That's how they perceive when you shout or punish them. The key to correcting unwanted behaviors is not punishment, but redirection and offering alternatives. If the cat is scratching furniture, provide a scratching post and encourage its use. If it's jumping on countertops, investigate the root cause and address it. Loud noises or yelling. Number four, loud noises or yelling. Cats have sharp hearing designed to pick up the subtlest sounds, like a mouse walking on grass. This means loud noises in our human world can be scary for them. When a cat is frequently exposed to loud sounds like yelling, loud music, or the noise from a loud TV, it can result in a constant state of stress and anxiety. 
The act of yelling in particular can be very harmful to cats. They don't understand the context, and all they perceive is that the environment seems unsafe and unpredictable. Ignoring their attempt at communication. The communication. Cats can't speak our language, but they have unique ways of communicating with us. This includes vocalizations like meowing or purring, as well as actions like bringing toys to you or rubbing against your legs. Each of these behaviors is a form of interaction and connection. For example, meowing is a form of communication primarily developed to communicate with humans. A study from the University of Georgia found that adult cats generally don't meow at each other, but do so in interaction with humans. Facing forcing socialization. Number two, forcing socialization. Cats are very specific beings when it comes to social interactions and prefer to have control over when and how these interactions occur. Forcing a cat into social situations, such as making them interact with other pets, especially new ones, or insisting they spend time with unfamiliar people, can be a significant source of stress. Cats heavily rely on scent cues and nonverbal communication to understand each other. When forced into unfamiliar social situations, these cues can become confused, leading to feelings of anxiety or fear. This is particularly true for cats that haven't been properly socialized since they were young. Research shows that cats are capable of forming secure bonds with their humans. What may seem like a pleasant smell to us can be overwhelming or even distressing for your cat. This includes products like scented litter with strong fragrances. While these fragrances may seem like an effective solution to keep the litter box area smelling fresh, they can be off-putting to cats. Cats use their sense of smell for various important functions, including communication through pheromones, which are scent markers they leave in their territory. Intense artificial fragrances can mask these essential natural pheromones for communication and the cat. And that ends our topic for today regarding the everyday things that hurt our cat's feelings. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing our channel, Precious Cats of Mama Kiss, adding up to our 1,422 subscribers as of August 14, 2024. Thank you also for hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified in our future vlogs. And thank you most especially for sharing this video. And thank you for giving us encouraging and beautiful messages. Thank you. See you.